Okay, so here's a motor. The bell has been removed. Just remove the bottom screw or e-clipper and whatever there is, and the bell will come right off. And you're left with this. There's a bottom bearing and a top bearing. Um, getting these out can be difficult. Uh, generally, they're kind of wedged in there, and it's also very difficult to push on them. And it's not often you need to almost hammer them out. Um, it's They are not easy to remove. So here's a thing to try maybe, or here's a tip, a simple way of doing it. This is a uh, center punch, and it's for if you wanted to drill in a piece of metal um, in this specific location, like exactly right there, you would use a center punch, you put it down, you press down, a spring uh, compresses, and then when you reach the bottom, uh, it kind of hammers out and that center piece will make a little divot. Um, and if this is metal, you would then have somewhere for the drill bit to, to catch and not wander around. Um, so it just, you put down, you put it somewhere, you press, and the hammer action goes off. But we can use that uh, springy hammer action to uh, help get the bearings out. So again, here's a motor, bottom and top. Uh, so if we just stick this through, it'll just go... Uh, In there. Uh, so if we just stick it through, it just goes right through the center. So how do we actually push on that bottom bearing, right? Ah, look at that, it's funny. The um, way we do it is we just stick a piece of wire through the, just through the bottom bearing. Um, and then we try to put the center punch through as well. And, well, that just came out way too easily. Um, okay, well, let's try to do it for the other one at least. Generally, bearings don't come out that easily. Uh, whatever. So, uh, we put the, the wire through the center of the bearing, then we try to stick the center punch through the center of the bearing. These two things together cannot fit. So, uh, you then press, spring action builds up, and it pushes. And so if right now the uh, bearing is not moved at all. But if we do this a few more times, uh, you can see the bearing is starting to work its way out. Every time the hammering action goes off, the bearing moves a little bit more. Um, and that third time was the trap, or fourth time, whatever it was. But you can see how the two, the wire you just slide through, but then the uh, center punch kind of forces its way in and, and gets the two items jammed. Once they get jammed, and that the after that, when the hammering action goes off, uh, it's pushing on the entire bearing, not just, you know, whatever. Anyways, it works. Uh, just keep doing it a few times. Um, this comes off easily. It's not stuck on or anything. But then there's our motor with no bearings in it. Oh, and I guess to replace, put new bearings back in, um, you will run into the, and it's not really an issue, but yeah, see that bottom one goes in too easily. Uh, uh, the stupid tip is, you know, if you try to just uh, use a pliers or something, the problem is the coils rise too high and you'll end up smashing coils. So uh, generally when you're replacing bearings, you'll have two sets of bearings. Hot glue. Um, but you would just take your old bearing, place it on top of the new bearing. Um, And then, um, so you can use the, you would, you would basically do this, where you have the uh, old bearing sitting on top of the new bearing, so when you use the pliers, you only apply force to the uh, bearing, and you don't smash the coils. Anyways, uh, so the bearing's back in now, and the bottom one seems to slide in and out too easily. Shouldn't be like that. Uh, is it? Oh, focus, my focus. Anyway, whatever. It's a center punch. Um, even for just 
it comes in handy for lots of reasons. Yeah, it's fun. Um, it's like 10 bucks on Amazon. Uh, if you happen to have one, this might be useful information to get bearings out.